Now OnePlus recently released the first open beta for the OnePlus 5T. So I wanted to take this time to show you how to sideload an open beta on the OnePlus 5 as well as the OnePlus 5T. So it doesn't matter which device you're actually wanting to sideload as the process will be the same. And just to show you, I'm on the 7.1.1 version of Oxygen OS for this device. I'm going to be sideloading the Oreo beta. This is the first open beta for the OnePlus 5T. Now this method is going to work for those who have the stock recovery. If you have TWRP installed as your custom recovery, then you can just take this file that we download and then just flash it anyway. Just do a clean wipe of the partitions and then just do a clean install. Since it's a bit more complicated for those who don't have root and for those who don't have a custom recovery, this will be a guide for those with the stock recovery. So what we're going to do, we're going to shut down the device. That's because we need to boot up into recovery mode. If you're unfamiliar with how to do any of this, be sure to check the full tutorial that I'll have linked below the video as that includes the step-by-step -step process for all of this. Now we have already downloaded the open beta zip file from one, the OnePlus website. And they also include this in the, um, the forum thread whenever they announce it. And that's just gonna be sitting on the OnePlus 5 or the OnePlus 5T. So from here, we're just going to tap on English or whatever language you want. Then we're going to tap on the install from internal storage. And if you wanted to, you could install it from ADB. If you had the file on your computer and you wanted to connect the USB cable to it, but that requires you to use ADB and Fastboot tools in the command prompt. And this method is just a lot easier. I save this to the download folder. You see, I renamed it open beta just so I know exactly what it is. We're just going to tap on the file and then tap on install package. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. It is definitely installing a full new operating system. And I will say that since this is an open beta, there are sometimes bugs and these may or may not be okay with you. Usually they're kept pretty minimal, but there are times that they're critical enough that they have impact something that you actually use. And you can't simply downgrade through the normal, uh, you can't just download the old Nougat zip file and then sideload it like we're doing here you have to actually download a special version which is included a link is included to that file in the announcement thread on the oneplus forum so once i was done we're just going to tap on that reboot option as you saw that's going to shut the device down and then it's going to turn it right back on so that we can boot back into Oxygen OS. And as I said, this whole, this whole method is, is the same for the OnePlus 5 as well as the OnePlus 5T. You just need to make sure you download the specific firmware file that matches your device. Since I'm, I have the OnePlus 5T, I downloaded that file for the OnePlus 5T. But if, if you have the OnePlus 5, then you'll download the one for the OnePlus 5. 
and I, I'll have links to both of these download pages included in the full tutorial, which again is linked below. You can see now we're on Android 8.0, and this is the OnePlus One or OnePlus 5T Open Beta 1. So that is how to sideload an open beta, which needs to be done from the stable channel on the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 5T with stock and with stock recovery.